What's up, everybody? My name is Luke. I'm Paul. And we are Twin Saw. Today we are reviewing a boutique hotel that we're staying at in Kansas City <laughs> called The Truett. First of all, I just wanted to talk about how much I love neon signage. Yeah, I want one for our house. <laughs> I know, with Twin Saws. That'd be so cool. This beautiful bird of paradise. So there's like the, the garage and there's like more units above. A little backyard will show you around. And then this is like the just the lobby floor, basically. A little coffee station. I don't know what pods these are. La La, Cafe La Lava Espresso. This bathroom is just right off of the little coffee area. And I can say the vibes. You got some crema on there, you know what I'm saying? I do know what you're saying. Look crema. There she is. The guys who own this also own a second one called the Ada and we have stayed there as well. But they have like this beautiful entryway that has like two sides and one's dark and one's light. And they did the same thing. In, I think this one was before the Ada though. I don't know. I can't remember. But look at this. It's like a man cave. The flags, I'm not even sure what the flags are from. 16, seven, 15, seven, five. It's giving old athletic vibes and I'm here for it. We should have music playing in our house all the time too, like this lo-fi, Europop-y kind of vibe. I love it. This is the light side. So here's something you need to know about me. I love a deep couch. Like, if I can't lay this way on a couch, it ain't for me. I don't want it. I just don't want it. Also, a fireplace is always a vibe. Those chairs look mm -hmm. so antique. Let me, I'm gonna sit in those. Sit in one, see how it is. These look so antique and like, they're comf. This is the entrance to our room. We'll go up a whole nother floor once we open that door. Here is the entire top floor. Two bedrooms, a lounge, bathroom, and like winding hallways. It's very, very cool. There's the first bedroom. They call this, I think this is the queen bedroom. This is where we're Paul sleeping. A nice full length mirror as, as we all need for getting readies. This is the lounge. Oh, I'm obsessed. I love this so much. That's nice and cool. Here is the bathroom. So we shot our brand deal because we were shooting for a product. You might have seen it. Comment below if you know what product I'm talking about. Look. This is also the front of the house. The this final is bedroom is the king size bedroom, which is where I'm staying. Not for any reason, I just walked in here. <laughs> There's chocolate on the bed. Chocolates. Ooh. It's cool. You can look at this. I just think it's so uh, cool. Obsessed. So one A is right there. It's a unit. One A, one C. Yep. And I bet there's one up. There's on one top up on top too. for sure. It's awesome. It feels luxurious, but not too fussy. I don't know. Yeah. Like, it's it has in. it has the, a nice balance of like classic antique, but also like modern LED lighting that like. Yeah. Makes me feel like it's like hip and modern, but also like has that classiness of vintage. I feel comfortable. Yeah. Yeah, and luxurious. Yeah, it's like. Above my pay grade. Yeah. Yes. Because we're staying here, we're actually really close to the Nelson Atkins Museum of Art, which is beautiful. And so free. We, and free. We thought about going there. And then we're also the, really close to the plaza, which is like a shopping district. Artistic shopping district, yeah. There's like some fancier restaurants and stuff, so we thought about going out there. But then a friend just texted us and was like, hey, I got some extra tickets to MJ the Musical, the tour tonight. Um, you wanna go? So we're gonna do that. So we're gonna do that. And then tomorrow, yes, we, are. we might do some of those other things. I don't know, we'll figure we'll it out. We'll figure yeah, it yeah. out. Paul, you said it wasn't wet, but look. Um, um sorry, mine wasn't wet. <laughs> Rude of you to say. <laughs> MJ! Hey, MJ the Musical! Instead of going out on the town, we're going out on a different kind of town, MJ's life. I'm so excited. This is my third time seeing the show. First time seeing the two, two though. Yeah, I'm very excited. I love the show. I'm sweating my glasses are fogging up. Look. <laughs> I'm so excited! I wanted to discuss the show, our thoughts. Our thoughts on the show. Because I always think that critiquing shows is fun. 
Even though it's not really a critique, it's more just like a, a love fest we love, usually. We love shows. Let's talk about the first act. The first act is so good because so it good. talks through early MJ and mid MJ. So through thriller, but it's not, it doesn't, they don't do thriller until later, but they talk through that era. And it is so powerful and impactful. I think we were really close. We got given seats, so we were really close. And that's incredible. Yeah. And we're very blessed. But getting to watch the talent of the dancers and the MJs, specifically yeah. all the different people who play MJ, because there's three different actors who portray him, and how they seamlessly, seamlessly transition yeah. through each era without it being confusing, without it being tough to follow, it's just incredible. I also think it's really cool to see, it's similar to Come From Away, where like characters, like in your ensemble or in your like lead cast, but like they're playing the producer and like the his dad. So he has to like flip like mid scene. Yeah. And I just thought that like they the body how they embody the characters was so good. Their so body like, the way that their body transmits mm -hmm. that energy. Body language was yeah. communicated very clearly. And I just thought that was so cool. And also the dancing though. I just wanted to get up and dance with them. So bad. So hard not to. My favorite number in the show is the beginning of the second act. Um, they do it like kind of a Fosse esque number. Yeah. And it is by far yeah. my favorite number in the show. It's so hard to, we saw Miles Frost who originated the role as MJ on Broadway and won so a Tony good. for it. He was so good. We got to see him do MJ as MJ in New York a few years ago. And after that, it's really hard to watch the performance of Thriller be done because he's so good. Yeah. He was like unreal. And like, this is the third time we've seen the show. Yes, yeah. And I also think too, uh, for the, the one thing I liked about this was being up close, seeing like yeah. all like the choices the dancers were making, the them being in character was so fun to watch. But then it was hard to compare that performance to like Miles Frost, like MJ's performance. Really, the only thing that I guess the only time I really start comparing and feeling is like thriller. there is <laughs> that moment is Thriller. Yeah. So th that's the tough part. Yeah, yeah. The rest of the show, the MJ that we saw tonight was fantastic. They so all are. They all every, every time I've seen, I've seen the show. Yeah. They, they do such a good job, but it is hard to watch Thriller specifically because yeah. Miles Frost was so agile yeah. and it was incredible. Really embodied a lot of the like the famous movements that Michael did mm -hmm. and it, it is just phenomenal to watch. I do like that the show ends and then you think that they're just going to bow to nothing and you're like, wait, that's how it ends? Oh, it's so sad. Yeah. And then they do like this huge ensemble, big... Uh, Each person takes every the person mic. Every taking the mic and singing. It is so fun and joyful. Yeah, I love and it. Everyone's up there clapping because they think it's the... Um, curtain call. Curtain call. And then suddenly it's like, oh, it's a party. So everyone's dancing. It's such a fun time yeah. to be in the audience. And then even at the end, so all of the... Everybody leaves and then the band just keeps playing. Yeah. And it's like, we were just jamming out. Like having so much fun yeah. jamming out. It's a very good so show. Cool. If you ever have the opportunity to see it, highly recommend. Yeah. How are you coming? Huh? It's coming. Honestly, having this lounge is like huge because I wouldn't want to be sitting just like on my bed. I would be falling asleep if that was the case. Yeah. Okay. But no, having this room is like very nice. It's like separate. And I maybe mean, those work. Fit check. The fact that they added a wide angle lens on these phones is like perfect for vlogging. It's like they knew. It's literally so convenient. We've vlogged for years with DSLRs. Yeah. And while it's nice and it makes it crispy and nice and all this stuff, it's not, nothing has, can, can, can no, I can't talk. Nothing can compare to the convenience of, a cell of phone. having a cell phone that can basically do it all for you. Look at this. This is like right near the Truett. It's the Nell Snackens Art Museum. Okay, you wanna go down to the plaza? Yeah, let's do the it. The plaza. We just had to stop in for a quick stroll. Now, if mm -hmm. you're from Kansas City, I do need you to weigh in on this. Is it plaza or, or plaza? plaza? That is the question. 
Because I think that some of my friends are like, oh, it's always plaza. And I was like, but They're I've always, always pronounced plaza. it plaza. But I think it's because we're not from here. Yeah. But also, a plaza, like for me, a plaza is like an air, a shopping area. Which or, is or, what the or like plaza a, is. A square. Like but a is it like square. a plaza mall or whatever? You know, like if you go to like a... Sh- you but know. isn't the plaza mall? I don't know. I don't know. Like, plaza, plaza. Doesn't matter. I feel like it's just like saying it with a different accent. Oh, I will say plaza. <laughs> well, that's what I always do. And then sometimes I catch myself saying plaza, and I'm like, who am I? Who do I think I am? Yeah. What kind of accent am I putting on today? Yeah. Chameleon effect am I? Is this number three What kind happen? of croquette am I playing? <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> what kind of croquette am I Also, they always play the best vibes here. The best bops. Thank you. You as well. Thank you. Peach. Sakura. Oh, true. Peach popping boba. I got a Sakura milk tea with brown sugar tapioca pearls. Boba. Boba. Wow. But it's sakura for that. Yeah, let me try it. It's like a cream cheese. I literally love boba so much. Wow. You're gonna be mad at me. That's so good. The frozen with that is the- also so good. I love it. I know, the blended. With the popping boba? I'm a sass. for a walk. <coughs> you all right? <coughs> I spend so much money on other kinds of clothes when the reality is um, 89% of the time I'm wearing this kind of clothing. <laughs> like if I wear, yeah. I should spend all my money on that kind of stuff and then just buy cheaper other stuff, but. Oh, scrolling through saying, oh yeah, I just like this so much. The back is so cool. That is dope. I am obsessed. And then you go like this. Oh, trying trying it on, but without trying it on, I see. Design. Made Mob, I would love someday to do like a collab with them, like for our princess line. They're local. We're not that, they're local, and I'm sure we could probably work something out to sell something online, but it would be really cool to do t-shirts and stuff through them, because they just have such an interesting design style, and I, I love. I just like how basic some of this is. Like, yeah. I'm just a huge fan of just like a basic, a very lightweight t-shirt. I love this like felt, like I think like a twin sauce felt design would be cool. Be so cool. Kind of whatever. Scooch Magooch. Oh, whoa. Isn't it so nice? So nice. I love this. You know what this reminds me of? What? Our cloud couch that we had from... Yeah, a little furniture. bit. But part of the vibe is the music. Mm-hmm. It's like... It's ambient. It's ambient. It's like... You've got really nice... Like, you've got florals. You've got, like, vintage. You've got modern textures and feels. And it's like... I'm trying to figure out what it is that I like about it so that I can replicate it in my own home. The problem is, you know is I saying? can't. Well, no, I think the thing is, isn't the thing is you have to think about, yeah, it's eclectic, but you have to think about like the different elements. So what are the elements that they're bringing to the table? Because there's textures like, like the coral and Mm -hmm. the flowers are different textures. But even the the wall. Well, hold on. So the the leather, Mm -hmm. the metal, the black paint, then the wall is textured as well. It's Mm -hmm. like a, like almost, almost looks 3D printed, but it's. Then you have cushions and you have different fabrics represented, Mm -hmm. leather, silk. Um, cotton, and then stone. Yeah. So you have so many different elements that you're they're bringing yeah. to the table that that kind of create this feeling, almost circle of life feeling. <laughs> but it's like completeness. But my problem is, is that I feel like if I was to do this the exact same thing, it would just look cluttered and messy, not like mm. cohesive. So I'm not like sure what makes it cohesive. I'm just trying to learn. Mm-hmm. So there's yeah. not like tchotchkes. Yeah. It's like a Big larger piece, piece of base. stone. Yeah. A vase. The table is kind of full, but the pieces are big. Mm-hmm. So On the table, like, yeah. I love how we're sitting with little kids. I feel weird about doing a conclusion because that's it. You know, we just witnessed the Truett in Kansas City, and I loved it. Like, I'm so happy when we went to the show last night because it was so, so fun, good. and I love that show. So but good. I also am like, man, I kind of wish we could have spent more time hanging out here, hanging out like in, the, in this area. Yeah. But that's okay. It we're is still, what it we is. We still got to go down to the plaza and you know, we yeah, still yeah, got to yeah. do some stuff that's this true. morning. But, this morning, but. But it was, it's definitely like, 
it's such a cool area and so full of history. The thing about it is, is that I'm now more likely to look at boutique hotels when I'm traveling because they are such a unique experience as opposed to just a pretty standard hotel experience. Right. It's nice. Anyway, thank you to the Truett for letting us stay here. Yeah. And film our video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> such a cool, like, uh, experience to get yeah. to do, like, a little staycation. Yeah. And just so you know, uh, they didn't pay us to say anything, so... Everything we said was opinions. very honest. <laughs> Anyway, we'll see you in another video real soon. And don't die. Okay, bye. <laughs> A special thank you to Matthew, Mark, Morgan, and Webster for being the realest of the real ones over on Patreon. If you want to join our team, head over to patreon.com backslash twinsauce or use the link below.